Okay, we have a Taylor series problem. We've got the sum from n equals two to infinity of one over n cubed plus n squared minus two n. Now to get started with it, this denominator, this is clearly factorable. So let's see what we can do with that. First of all, I can factor an n out to start. So we can write this as n times n squared plus n minus two. But then I can factor this thing further. We have the n out front. For this thing, I can write it as n plus two times n minus one, I think. So then putting this back in as a fraction, this whole thing is gonna be one over n, n minus one, n plus two. But this thing can then be broken up with partial fractions. So breaking it up into three pieces, we can write it as a over n plus b over n minus one plus c over n plus two. So now here I'm gonna skip over the partial fractions, but what you could do really quick is the cover-up method on this. So it would be like, you plug a zero in here, you plug a one in here, you plug minus two in here. And then the fraction you're left with covering up that one term is gonna be your A, B, and C value. So what you're gonna get is your A value is gonna be minus one half, B is gonna be one third and C, and this C value is gonna be one over six. And so now that we have it reduced like this, one more thing I'm gonna do, I think I just don't want these fractions in the numerator. So how I can handle this is, I can multiply in by one without changing it. And what I'll do is, we'll do it as six over six, that way I can distribute in this six to clean it up, because if you get a common denominator, it's gonna be six here. So when we do that, we have one over six, this becomes minus three over n, this one becomes two over n minus one, and this last one's just one over n plus two. And now we'll take this thing and plug it back into our sum, but we have the one sixth that we can bring out front as a constant. And then inside of our sum from two to infinity, we're gonna have all this stuff right here. And then at this point, one thing we could do is just start plugging in n values and writing out terms. I can tell you that this is telescoping, but the trouble is with different coefficients, with n minus one, with everything going on, one sixth in front, the telescoping is a little more complicated and tedious. So I wanna do it a slightly different way. What I wanna do is split this up into three separate sums. And then when I do that for each of them, I can bring the constant out front. And actually when I do this, I think I'll leave the one sixth for now. So we'll leave the one sixth, but we'll still on each of these bring the constant out. So this first one's gonna be minus three sum from n equals two to infinity of just one over n. The second one will have two and the sum is gonna be one over n minus one. And for this last one, we'll basically just leave it as it is one over n plus two. And then in order to avoid writing out terms, what I'd like to do is get all these in the same arm. They're all kind of the same with the one over n, they're just kind of shifted. So let's get everything to look like one over n. To do that, I can do an index change here. If I add one, I just need to subtract one here. Same thing here, if I subtract two, I just need to add two. So what's gonna happen is these, this is gonna become just one over n. Same exact thing over here. But now here we have two plus two, n is gonna be four. And over here, it's just gonna be a one. And now that we have the same thing in each of these, I'd like to kind of actually just push them all together. But the only problem is the lower bound. I can't really do it when we're starting at two, one, four. And so what I can do is strip out terms in order to get it where we have the same lower bound in each of these. So to do that, I think I'll get everything to n equals four. So for this one, we'll do the n equals two value and the n equals three value. So when n equals two, plug in two, the first term's a half, plug in three, second term's one third, and then now we've got the rest of the sum, but now we're starting at n equals four. Doing the same kind of thing on this one, we've got the two out front, plug a one in, we got one over one or just one, plug a two in, half, one over three, and then the fourth term will stop and we've got our sum starting at n equal four. And then last, we just have this piece right here. So it's just gonna be the same sum, n equals four of one over n. And now at this point, we just need to kind of crunch the numbers and put everything together. So this is, th we can look at this as three six over two six or five six. Over here, we can think of this as six six plus, this is the same thing as this, so six six and five six. This is gonna be 11 over six here. So then we'll try to simplify. We've got one sixth in front. Here, minus three times five over six is minus 15 over six. I'm gonna to try to put all the constant values together. 
Then over here, two times 11 over six is gonna be 22 over six. And then we're gonna have all of our sums. Let's just put a label on these so I can save some writing. We'll call this thing S, because we've got it in three places. So this is gonna become minus three times S. Here we're gonna have plus two times S, and then this is gonna be just a plus one S. But then notice all this stuff here, this all goes away because this is all gonna be a zero. This is kind of like our telescoping effect right here. We've got the one sixth in front, 22 over six minus five over six is seven over six. Multiply it together for my final solution, we just get seven over 36 and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Just kind of a minor tweak on calculating a telescoping series. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.